Hey everybody, just a quick update for the Pathanor hydroponics system. It's been three weeks and I was going to wait 30 days but these things are growing way too fast and going to flower. And I'm also going to show you my hydroponic tomatoes over here. These are Red Robin and those are starting to get tomatoes and I'll show you that too. But uh, first let's talk about the Pathanor hydroponics system. I'll zoom in here and I'm going to turn these grow lights off because they're so intense it's just not filming very well so let me put on some normal lights here and I'll give you a close-up there we go that's a little bit better lighting and uh, as you can see this is the cinnamon basil here growing very healthy very strong in this unit I love the unit so far and uh, the only complaint I have about it is that it lets a little bit of light through and some algae grows in the reservoir so it's not quite opaque enough, but um, it's doing its job. And here's the lemon basil. All this stuff smells so good. It's going to flower here. And that's why I decided to film today rather than wait another week because I'm going to top these off uh, sooner than I expected. But yeah, it's a good unit. That little buoy thing back there, kind of useless. I just opened up the lid to see the... Uh, where the level of the nutrients are at. But let me show you my tomato plants. Here are my tomato plants. These are red robin tomatoes and what I did was grow three plants in a uh, fox farm uh, potting soil and I also grew six of them in hydroponics. Uh, the six in the hydroponics is under a 600 watt high grow LED which I have turned off and the ones in dirt are under a 400 watt Maggio LED and um, the ones in soil grew taller and got tomatoes faster but I think it's because I planted these at the same time and these got a little bit in shock because I used starter plants that were they only had two leaves they didn't have their uh, true set of first leaves yet but as you can see here these are my first tomatoes of 2017 and lots of flowers coming on. These plants are perfect for containers. They're very short, very stocky. The, the leaves are super thick and unbelievable the smell that comes off of these. Yeah, the, the difference between the hydroponic ones and the ones in dirt, the hydroponic ones grew short, very, you know, very thick and stocky. And uh, the ones in the dirt grew taller and not as much spread out. So these are a lot more healthy. But yeah, if you're going to grow a tomato in a container, I, you don't need a big container for these. I mean, these are just in um, half uh, cut orange juice containers, and that's fine. I'm, they're growing with tomatoes and flowers, so hey, it works. But let me show you the roots on these here, since I have a light pointed at them. Let's see here. Huge root system. Very healthy. And you can see, I'm not shaking too much with one hand. So that's all. I'll have tomatoes, I guess, that I can eat. Oh, I'd say in two weeks. And these should be covered with tomatoes by then. And I'll just show you an update when that time comes. Anyway, uh, oh wait, one more thing. Uh, let me go grab it real quick. This is my one last thing. This is the sweet basil plant that I had under the Sansi 15 watt LED bulb. I still have it under there and it has grown perfectly. It's already going to flower so I'm also going to trim these down today. So uh, yeah, I got four plants in here and that little light handled it. Pretty nice. Anyway, that's all. Just thought you'd like to see an update. Take care everybody.